Hello Bloggineers, today we're unboxing and building another Eureka Crate from KiwiCo. And this time we'll be building a pinball machine. Yeah, woo woo! <laughs> I've been so excited for this game. Eureka Crate is for ages 14 and up. So obviously, brother is way too young, but he still, but he still likes to help with it, so it works out. All right, here is the maker's guide for the pinball machine, and this time it's a lot thicker. I'm guessing this is a heart. Oh, medium. Whoa! Oh my gosh! There's there's A B C D E F G seven parts this time to the pinball machine. The time is two hours, but usually it takes us like double. double. And the skills we'll need are bolt assembly, paper oh. folding. Oh, paper folding! And reaction time. Yeah. And the complexity is media. The key components are the springs, screws, and pin balls. As usual, all of the parts we'll need are already included inside this box. If you have time, you can always read the front page, which talks about the science behind pinball physics. Then on the page after that, it's straight to the building. Then on the back, you have behind the design, so some more information about the pinball, a history of the design, and, and lastly, you can customize your machine as an extra design challenge. All right, and what's here? So first, there's some pieces. Orange pieces and uh, some other colors. Oh, uh, zip ties. Oh, zip ties. <laughs> We've had a lot of trouble with those. Um, oh, okay, there's black sticky pads here. And springs. Springs, yes. Springs. There's also some punch out paper stuff. There's also some punch out paper stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Eureka, oh, I think this is the point scoring. Oh yeah, this is for like when, when we assemble the game. So Ooh. I guess if you get here. There's some plastic pieces. Hmm, what? Some plastic pieces. Okay, this is plastic, I think. I Could be three. wrong. There's but... three. Well, yeah. at least I think it's plastic. Um, some rubber band down. Oh, marbles. Marbles. Oh yeah, that's, that's called the pinball. And wood. wood. And there's um, bolts. Oh, uh, bolts or screws or whatever they're called. Okay, that's all. Yep, that's all. So that's all for the unboxing. Uh, and now let's get straight to the building. Part one, here we come. Part A, it goes all the way to G. So part A is building the flippers. Uh, it's only eight steps. Yeah, and we'll use the flippers to hit the pinball. Go. Yep. So first we need this. Plastic board with the circle notch at the bottom. Yep. You have to make sure to get the right board. So this is the correct one, we hope. Okay, and we grab six fasteners and six bolts. There we go. And now step number two. We put two of these cut out on each side of the board and now it looks like this. Grab um, this piece two times and I will put them in. So, All right, so we finally got the springs in. That was hard. But yes, that was, that was hard. Hopefully we did it correctly. So now we insert it in for step seven. So there we go. We have finished part A, which is building the flippers. Compared to all the other parts, that was actually pretty short. And all the other parts are done. Part B is to assemble the board. Which is probably the main part. Yes, and, and 22 by, steps. Yeah, by the end, we'll have the entire board thing. This is 22 steps, so that's that's gonna be long. Step 
12 is complete. Okay, so we just realized that this has been on time lapse for way too long than it should have been. So far, we got, first we started with the left side, then the right side, and then we assembled the back. We put zip ties over here, foam on the bottom, and then the front. This is where the marble will go in. And then, finally, we connected the springs. So now, when I push it, it goes like that. So it goes back. Yeah, so you push it and it springs back. Part C is to add the launcher. The launcher is what shoots the ball into the play field. Step 11, I'm gonna put this all the way in the corner. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's see it. Okay, go, pull it. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it and boom. Did you see that? There we go, the launcher was fun to build. Uh, okay. Part D, the ball collection, which is where the pinball will be collected. And it has a lot of paper assembly. We are done with part D. So we did A, B, C, D, and now we just have F. E, F, G. Part E is to add the drop targets. There we go. Okay, I'm rather happy with this. Part F is to build the ramp or add the ramp. Now we're on step six, so I finished putting the foam all over and it's looking good. Looking good. Okay. The pimple gives way more than that. Woohoo! Yeah, like that. There we go. That's how you do it. Now part G. Before we start, this is just one way to set up our play field. Feel free to put any kind of obstacles wherever we want. Okay. We have completed part G, which is to install the obstacles. So the obstacles that we put are these things, the triangles, mm -hmm. and that basically diverts the ball to either this way or down the narrow alley. We also have a ball trapper, which traps the ball, and then some extra obstacles over here. And the ramp is for the ball. So if you hit the ball up, sometimes it will go up the ramp and if it goes all the way, then it's kind of like a bonus in this game. And finally, we added some stickers just for some decoration. And now Brother's going to do a quick demo. So first I spring it down and... Oh, oh that was so no sick! <laughs> So final thoughts about the pinball machine. I think this is one of my more favorite Eureka crates because there were a lot of different parts and mechanisms to this. I especially like the ramp even though none of us have managed to hit it up all the way. That one was just nice yes. and easy to make. And then the spring mechanisms are also very cool because like if, if the ball touches one of these things, it goes down. That's so cool. <laughs> Yep, so I think we're probably gonna play with this a lot, and it did take a while to build. Like four hours. Yeah, and also your fingers get tired of screwing things after a while, but otherwise, it's pretty simple. You can order Eureka Crate at the link in the description, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.